Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today I'm going to tell you about this lovely 2018 Infinity QX30 Premium all-wheel drive that we have for sale. This one was recently retired out of our loaner car fleet. The way that works is uh, what we do is uh, we will pluck a select new vehicle out of our new vehicle inventory and we'll put it in loaner car service for about a year and then we'll retire it. This one was retired with only 12,000 miles on it and it's now available for sale as a certified pre-owned vehicle. And the way the loaner car system works is one of the benefits of being a new Infinity customer or a certified pre-owned Infinity customer is that you get complimentary Infinity service loaner vehicles for extended service days. So this basically was just loaned out to our Infinity uh, customers. Um, it's been in our car its whole life. We've done all the services to it and it really is in pretty much near new condition with only 12,000 miles on it. Local one on a clean Carfax. Very nicely equipped with features. And with the Infinity pre-owned certification, you get all the benefits you normally would uh, as a new Infinity uh, customer. Uh, those benefits include um, you get uh, roadside assistance and trip interruption for the du duration of the certified warranty. The certified warranty in this one is uh, six years, 75,000 miles. It covers 1,400 components. Um, you also get uh, complimentary first year basic maintenance uh, on certified pre-owned vehicles as well. So those are some of the biggest, uh, you know, features of the certified pre-owned program. And um, this particular QX30 has the premium package, very nice equipped features, uh, lovely Napa leather interior. And then we have synthetic leather and contrast stitching on the door and on the dashboard, uh, backup camera, a uh, great setting Bose audio system, heated front seats, power front seats, dual zone auto climate control, nice leather wrapped steering wheel, you have a nice big glass roof panel and you have a sunshade to dim things down if it gets too bright, which is probably not going to happen today. Uh, the QX30 was made in uh, partnership with Mercedes. It borrows heavily from the Mercedes GLA and CLA platform. Um, and that is why it has a dual clutch 7-speed transmission. It's actually the only Infiniti that you can get with a dual clutch transmission because it is sourced from Mercedes. And uh, the way that works is a conventional automatic transmission will have a torque converter, but um, a torque converter works a little bit different than a clutch. A clutch is usually what you find in a manual transmission, and clutches are a little bit more efficient as far as uh, improving gas mileage and improving performance. So that's why Mercedes opted to use clutches uh, with this transmission versus a regular torque converter. So you have two clutches. You have one clutch for the even gears and one clutch for the odd gears. So the next gear can be pre-selected for very seamless and quick gear changes. And you have paddle shifters as well. So you can take control of those gear changes yourself. Very easy to use. You put your foot in the brake, you pull it back to put in drive. You push forward for reverse. Uh, neutral's in the middle and just hit P for park. Or if you shut the vehicle off, I'll automatically put the vehicle in park as well. The QX30 is the smallest uh, vehicle uh, available in the Fini Infinity lineup. Oh, the door almost blew back at me. It's a little bit blustery today. And uh, there's basically two different flavors of the QX30. You have a front wheel drive QX30, and then you have the all wheel drive QX30. So the front wheel drive QX30 has more car like accents on it. Uh, for instance, the front styling on the front wheel drive QX30 is more car like, well, which you'll notice on this all wheel drive QX30 it has a little bit more uh, prominent front fascia, especially this part right here. It kind of has a broader chin, almost like you'd find in an SUV. Uh, you have matte plastic here and here, where on the front wheel drive it's body colored, and that's uh, for light off roading situations. If you encounter uh, sticks and, and brush and stuff like that, it won't scratch up. Uh, this matte plastic as much as painted part. You also have a more off-road or I'd say all season oriented tire versus a performance tire with the all-wheel drive model. So this tread's gonna do better in the snow and stuff like that. Really this thing isn't designed for going off-road. Um, it, it's gonna do fine and beat up uh, dirt and gravel roads but you're not gonna take this rock crawling like you'd take a Jeep Wrangler. Uh, for most people that works fine. Most people buy all-wheel drive crossovers uh, for the snow or for driving on you know some beat up dirt and gravel roads. Also with the all-wheel drive model you have a little bit over an inch more uh, ground clearance so it has an inch higher ride height too so if you encounter snowy conditions you're not going to get as stuck as easily as in the front-wheel drive version of the QX30. 
Really nice color combination in graphite on black leather. 2019 was the last year of the QX30. Unfortunately, the partnership ended with Mercedes. And you might be wondering why would Infiniti partner with Mercedes on developing a vehicle like this? Why didn't they just build one from scratch? Well, to build a car from scratch costs a lot of money. And it's actually a more common thing than you might think, where car manufacturers will share platforms or build a car together. Uh, like Subaru and Toyota, they partnered up for the FRS slash uh, BRZ. And then you might be familiar with the new Toyota Supra. Well, that new Toyota Supra, uh, for the most part, mechanically, uh, it's a BMW Z4. So Toyota borrowed very heavily from the BMW parts bin uh, for developing their latest Supra. So Mercedes makes great luxury automobiles. So I could think of a lot worse places to look when you're finding a small car platform to build a vehicle on. And I think the styling on the QX30 versus the GLA and CLA, the Germans have a tendency to be a little bit more conservative as far as their styling, where the QX30 has very curvaceous body, very nice sweeping lines. Like the contours on the doors, it's not as easy to see on camera, but look at these body contours. It is not cheap to uh, manufacture a vehicle like that. It costs extra money to have contours, but Infiniti wanted this QX30 to, to look good. And from a new car price point, when these were brand new, uh, dollar for dollar, you'd actually get a little bit more bang for your buck. You get more features uh, for the price you paid on the QX30 versus the Mercedes. And obviously, Mercedes is a premium luxury brand, so maybe they were able to command a little bit more money just by having that Mercedes logo on their car. Um, and at the heart of the QX30, we have this uh, two liter turbocharged engine, makes about 208 horsepower, 250 pound-feet of torque, plenty of performance, yet they'll get around 30 miles per gallon on the highway. And this is, a this is an engine that you find in many Mercedes products, and we've actually used this in some Infiniti products as well. This two liter four cylinder was actually uh, the base engine in the Q50 and the Q60 for a little while. Uh, this QX30 is also backed by a five day 100% money back guarantee. Thanks so much for taking the time today to watch this video. Hopefully we see you in our store very soon and have a wonderful day.